What did you realize too late? Getting in shape when you're younger is a lot easier than doing it when you're older. Staying fit is easier than getting fit. My football coach always told me it's a lot easier to keep up than to catch up. You know what's easier than both? Picnic. I needed a plunger for my new place. Oh, that's shutty. Never let a good joke go to waste. That's the number two rule of the internet. Being the quiet, mysterious one doesn't get the ladies. It can. It just requires you to be high and handsome. That he actually was hitting on me. I noticed that a girl was hitting on me 4 years after the fact. No regrets though. I said hell no, because I thought he was joking. I once told a chick no in 7th grade. She became a big slut later on. She could have been my slut. You'll find your slut one day. Don't give up. I went to a music festival. While on the train there, this really attractive girl asks me what I'm reading, and we start talking. She's going to the festival too, so we end up going together. We are together basically all day. She's getting hit on by guys left and right, and starts holding my arm and cozying up to me to make them go away. Okay, I figure, I've had friends who've done that with me before. She just doesn't want to be bothered. At night time it gets really cold, and I'm complaining about how I really don't think my sleeping bag is adequate, and I'm going to be freezing. She agrees, and suggests that she go back with me to my tent, so we can stay warm together. I'm like, great idea. So we go back to tent, lay out my sleeping bag like a blanket, and hold each other to keep warm. I make absolutely no move on her whatsoever because, believe it or not, I still have absolutely no inkling that she's interested in me. I thought she was way out of my league, and I'd had so much fun with her that day I just didn't want to mess things up by misinterpreting things. In retrospect, I was a ducking idiot, but in the moment I just always assumed the worst. After lying there for about 5 minutes, though, she just grabbed my venus and teased me about being really dense. Gotta love assertive women. Relationships aren't built on love alone. You have to put the effort in as far as the little things are concerned. Also, arguing too often about the little things can be a sign that something bigger is wrong. On the other side, never center your life around love. I have too many friends who never do anything but focus on their spouse or try finding a spouse, get some hobbies and the rest will naturally come. Couldn't agree more. I also think it's dangerous to have one single person as the sole focus of your life. If it falls away, what do you have left? At least I have chicken. I forgot to put deodorant on this morning. The feeling of realization that you will now stink and there is nothing you can do about it because you're already pulling up at work. Am I the only person that keeps backup deodorant at work? $3 investment for priceless return. Social cigarette smoking can turn into a 24-7 habit. I was lonely after graduating college in my Kaukas when we were at bars, would sometimes all go out to smoke, like all of them, and I'd be the only one left in the bar. Eventually I would just stand outside with them, but one time I asked on here what the benefits of social smoking were, and maybe I would start, since it's a great way to meet people. I'll never forget the response I got from some random redditor. Don't be a ducking moron. You don't want to start smoking. Thanks, random redditor, whoever you are. I definitely realized I was being an idiot and never started. Pro tip, you don't need to smoke to take break outside with social smokers. At work I'm often outside with my smoking coworkers, and while they smoke I just have glass of water in hand. My new plan is to buy a big box of candy cigarettes and pretend to smoke them. You can still be a classy gent with candy cigs. The perfect comeback in every argument ever, for when you're in a pinch. If you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mom's teeth. Frankie Boyle. My parents are actually humans just like me. Negative. I'm a meat popsicle. Can confirm. I'm the stick. I can't help but wonder if the popular kids from high school were just the outgoing people that were willing to be themselves. It's like, I was all uptight and insecure for years, and I walk into college like nope not doing it anymore and boom, a bajillion friends and acquaintances and a swell old time. High school was so not worth taking seriously in that way. Thank you. True, but they were also attractive and rich, at least in my school. 
that I'm free to do whatever I would like, without needing the approval of others, as long as I'm also able to handle my responsibilities. You're not free to murder. Time flies. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Being smart isn't good enough. Hard work is way more important. I second this. I've ducked up so many times by just not putting in any work effort. That hiding your feelings from your partner, in fear of hurting them, is a quick road to losing them completely. Me and GF of 5.5 years have been stuck in a rut for a while. I had been too scared to find out what was wrong, and she was too scared of upsetting me to say anything. We are trying to sort it out, but the resentment you build up for each other over time doesn't go away unless you face it head on. Lesson learned though, talk about your shut with your spouse, no matter how hard it is. On the other hand, gushing all your shutty feelings constantly can be exhausting for him slash her to deal with and may cause you to be alone. Source, I'm alone. My caps lock is on. People won't be lining up to give me a job just because I have 3 degrees. People won't be lining up to give me a job just because I have 3 degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon. Every broke actor ever. The subtleties of girls. I'm terrible at picking up hints and signs. So many missed opportunities because of this. Yep, oblivious men is a problem that needs PSA. Or maybe indecisive women who can't communicate their intentions clearly enough for other human beings to understand is the problem that needs the PSA. That it's never too late to change yourself. Your ideas and beliefs should always be in flux. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Love that quote. Still haven't planted a tree though. Probably cause of reddit. That you have to do things and not expect everything to just come to you. Smoking weed is not a skill. But rolling is. And growing. Majoring in communications wasn't the best idea. I always tell myself, hey, at least it's not an art degree. Might as well be. Just how dependent I'm on others. I always had the idea that I was pretty self-reliant, but now I realize how appreciative I should have been. I really respect that admittance. Seriously. I'm the same way. I was always the confident guy who my friends looked up to, their words, and I never forced it either. It just came to me. I had the people around me that cared, and they mattered to me. Best friends and my girl. Nothing else mattered. Fast forward, I moved to Texas, and how. I'm not as self-reliant as I once believed. I need others to lean on. To laugh or struggle with. They gave me the confidence that they saw in me. They gave it to my by supporting me and giving me an itch. I love them and I'm moving home soon. The Blink 182 album named Take Off Your Pants and Jacket is a sexual innuendo. I only realized that earlier this year. South Park. Bigger. Longer. Uncut. That Ashley didn't invite me over just to watch a movie with her. She spelled her name like that and you couldn't figure it out. That brushing your teeth is actually really important. I don't have any serious issues with mine, but they are really ugly. And I'm 22. To have goals. What's your goal now? To have goals. That school is important. My ideal career path. I went 5 years too far down the science route and never listened to my creative heart. Money comes and goes. Time just goes. It's not my quote I got it from an Inga post a few weeks ago. That my friend is a bully and I should have told her to duck off long ago. That lack of confidence transforms and mutates into a lot of different, subtle and very obvious, conscious and subconscious self-defeating disablers on every level of who you are as a person. The importance of having strong credit. Sitting in a cubicle ducking sucks, and you wonder, will I be here when I'm 55? I should just leave now. Sitting in a cubicle beats squatting on a roof pulling nails and shingles. Trust me, I've done both. You shouldn't use red wine to remove club soda stains. That she was off the pill and is now 3 weeks pregnant. Editor's note, this was not my shoe, thank goodness. I shouldn't give a shut what other people think. That girls can get hotter. I'm still sorry for saying no to you. 6th grade, flat chested, glasses wearing future bombshell. Sobs. Getting your last job will be harder than getting your first one. Most redditors aren't at a place where they need this info yet, but keep in the back of your mind. 
there will come a place in your career, you'll be perhaps last 40s or so, and if you lose your job it will be suddenly incredibly hard to find the next one. Because of fast moving technology, people will automatically think you are out of touch with the latest and greatest innovations. You'll likely be sitting down with an hour person younger than you for first interviews and they will be hyper aware of anything that's max of being condescending or set in your ways or any of a number of issues you never had to face in your 20s and 30s. Make sure that as you get older, that you have that nest egg and flexibility, and keep learning new stuff as you grow older. You'll likely change your career substantially multiple times as you grow older, keep your mind sharp, and prepare for the worst.